little fox. A new retelling of a beloved children's story about a stuffed rabbit who wants to become real. Little Fox presents The Velveteen Rabbit. The Velveteen Rabbit, Episode 1, Christmas Morning. On Christmas morning, Rabbit looked around the room. He was inside a stocking, over a fireplace. Across the room stood a pretty tree. Wow! Rabbit thought. Look at those lights! He sniffed the air. Everything was so exciting and new here. Suddenly, he heard footsteps. A boy ran down the stairs. Let's open presents! He cried. His parents were behind him. Henry! Mom said. Why don't you look in your stocking first? Henry ran to the fireplace. He grabbed the velveteen rabbit from the stocking. Look! He cried. It. He's so soft and fluffy! Henry and Rabbit played all morning long. Rabbit was amazed by more new sights and sounds. He felt warm as Henry held him tightly. This is so much fun! Rabbit thought. I want to play with Henry every day! After dinner, Henry and Rabbit played some more. Then Dad smiled at Henry. It's almost bedtime, he said. Henry scooped up Rabbit in his arms again. He brought Rabbit upstairs to a playroom. Henry set Rabbit on a shelf. Sleep tight, Rabbit. We will play again tomorrow. Rabbit looked around as Henry left. He blinked in surprise. Other toys were staring at him. The Velveteen Rabbit, Episode 3, Dirty Paws. The next day, Henry took Rabbit all over the house. He rode Rabbit on car. He marched Rabbit with Soldier. <laughs> He stomped Rabbit through a dinosaur jungle. The dinosaurs roared like angry beasts. This is fun! Rabbit thought. Rabbit loved exploring the house. He loved sliding down the stairs. He loved watching birds out the window. He 
He especially loved playing with Henry. That night, Henry put all the toys away. Rabbit sat on a shelf. Oh no! Rabbit said. My nose and paws are dirty! And my tail lost some of its fluff! I knew you were weak, Robot said. Horse rolled his eyes. Don't listen to him, Rabbit. Those changes are normal. It's part of becoming real. Real? Rabbit said. What's that? Becoming real is wonderful, Horse said. It's when a toy comes alive. We are alive in a child's mind forever. That does sound wonderful, Rabbit said. I want to become real. Horse smiled. Maybe you will one day. Robot laughed. <laughs> You'll never be real, Rabbit. You can't do any cool stuff like I can. Robot flashed his lights. He shot out his claw. Rabbit frowned. I'll show you, Robot, he thought. I'll show everyone. One day, I'll be real. The Velveteen Rabbit, Episode 2, The Other Toys. The playroom was filled with toys. Rabbit saw a soldier and dinosaurs. There were action figures and stuffed animals. Hello! Rabbit said nervously. A triceratops waved. Hello! A red remote control car spun her wheels. Broom! She said in a friendly voice. But a robot glared at Rabbit. He was tall and shiny, with angry metal eyebrows. A newbie! He snapped. I don't like newbies. Rabbit gulped and tried to smile. Um, well... I'm happy to meet all of you. And I really like playing with Henry. Robot's lights flashed. You won't last long around here, Rabbit. You're not made of strong stuff like me. He laughed. <laughs> you don't even have legs. Rabbit's ears drooped. Robot was right. Rabbit's body was just a cloth sack. He had no legs and no feet. Be nice, robot, someone said. It was a horse. Horse's stuffing was lumpy. His coat was shabby and worn. You're welcome here, Rabbit, Horse said. I'm sure you'll make Henry happy. Thank you, Rabbit said. Horse's kind voice made Rabbit feel better. Horse smiled. Soft toys like us last the longest, he whispered. Robot snapped his claw. Ah! He said. We'll see about that. <laughs>